It was truly a moment of destiny. From the time they met, it was love at first sight. Whether they walked shoulder to shoulder in their beloved Jerusalem or in the halls of Congress, they were friends, they were partners, and they are brothers now and forevermore. When we went to the Jewish community for the very first time and said we would like to have a night to honor Israel, and it was something of an astounding concept, and in the finest Jewish tradition they called a committee meeting, and it was at this committee meeting that Rabbi Scheinberg pushed the ball across the line and said, they have extended their hands to us, now let's extend our hands back toward them. Without him, a night to honor Israel very likely would never have happened for the very first time. When I went to the Federation and said, maybe, you know, what if he's a friend? I'm not a big risk taker. Now, that was not out of uh, gambling. I really felt, after I met Pastor, I felt he's a friend. There's no agenda other than you are not alone, we are your friend. Just as it was said in resounding voice the first night of the night honor Israel, that voice really like came from the depths of his soul. From the Jewish side to have an Orthodox rabbi say yes to an evangelical pastor in 1981 was unheard of. Mainstream Jewish Christian relations was usually with Catholics and mainline Protestants, Reform and conservative Jews with a handful of Orthodox rabbis in academia. But on a grassroots level, never had anything like that. And Rabbi Scheinberg changed the history of the Jewish Christian landscape as we see it today. This man had the courage and the vision to birth a new era in Christian Jewish relationships. Let me, make, let me open the door. Let me be the door opener. And every time Pastor came to a community and they said, okay, we're going to have the night around Israel. He won them over. And that's how the night on Israel, the night on Israel grew, 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 until eventually became Kufai. It was because I was convinced that I had seen someone that could do it, would do it, and, uh, and, and would do it with love. In 1981, he said yes to a relationship that has lasted over 38 years, which has accomplished 37 Nights to Honor Israel at Cornerstone Church alone, but also influenced millions of Christians to do Nights to Honor Israel. He raised over $100 million for Israeli causes and Jewish causes, and it was all because a rabbi said yes. I feel that that what we call the spiritual in, indwelling, I, I feel the Shechina, the God's indwelling surrounding us. But it's also the future, the future of, of miracles to happen. The meaning for the present and the future is that God has a special plan for Jews and Christians together to strengthen one another. We need each other and we can give strength. And, and, and that's, to me, one of the great miracles of our day. The unity of Jerusalem and the unity of Jews and Christians together. I, I mentioned to Pastor that uh, I would like to give the invocation that I gave 13 years ago. And Pastor said, you mean you saved it? And so I did because 13 years ago, everyone in the room felt that we had experienced a moment of, a great moment of history. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we gather here today to say with King David, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord, there is unity. In the house of the Lord, there is your holy anointing. On this, this historic, historic day, in day in Christianity, let your anointing, let your fall, anointing upon fall upon this audience. Let it fall upon the leadership of Christians united for Israel. Lord God of Israel, command your blessing on, on this, this historic, historic occasion. Command your blessings on those who gather here to unite 
in the defense of Israel. We thank the Almighty thank God the for Almighty the privilege God. of witnessing in our generation the unification of the holy city of Yerushalayim. So that, so that Jews, Jews and Christians, and Christians may stand at the very spot where King David stood to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let us pray for the peace of the world, peace rooted in justice and freedom, blessed by the brotherhood of man and the fatherhood of God, our Father in heaven, in whose hands lies the fate of all nations. Cast, Cast thy, thy divine favor, favor upon, America, upon America and her leaders, and upon Israel and her leaders. Witnessed the unity of Jerusalem, the unity of Jews and Christians. So may we, so be, may we be privileged to see a united, world, united world under thy rule of love. Amen.